July the 23rd, we got this email. See right here, addressed to the recipients, some of the folks that attended that workshop. In that, in the very first paragraph, it talks about a tax assessment again. Oh, when the staff and the people have voted, and they've given their direction, the city has one responsibility to say, aye, aye, sir. You take your orders, you do an about face, and you go out and turn to get the job done. What we're looking for is an operations and an engineering plan. You haven't done that. And they're asking for another 120 days to come up with one. You should have come up with that 90 days after the voters had, had made their statement last July. That's being responsive government. That's what we're looking for here. I shouldn't have to be up here to, to, to remind you folks of your responsibilities to the people. We've already decided that for you. Your job is to carry it out. District voted last year and, and no assessment increase was put through. What was noted at the time um, and, and still is a fact today is that the vast majority of people in the district never even cast a ballot. Um, over 50% never even cast a ballot on it. <coughs> and when the workshop was held, actually, the, the gist of the workshop was that staff had brought a proposal for a potential uh, uh, reduction in assessment and engineering solution, if you want to call it that, um, to, the, to the issues in the district with funding. And many of the people, in fact, probably the majority of people, as reflected in the, in the minutes of the meeting that got up and spoke, expressed that they weren't aware uh, when they cast their ballots that uh, what they were looking at was the potential for reduced landscaping service in that. Um, and many of the people expressed that they didn't think a lot of their neighbors and others were even aware of what the scope of the issues were in the district that and that uh, the city had not done a very good job of communicating all the issues out to the district. So that was the direction that the council gave staff at the end of the meeting was to work on that communication issue, to go out this time, take a different approach, um, engage uh, a firm or an individual that's an expert in communication so that we can communicate these matters clearly to the property owners in the district. And then at the end of that period, um, to take the, the pulse, if you will, of the, of the property owners in the district through a survey instrument that has uh, statistical validity and accuracy and determine where the property owners want to go. Um, certainly, if that survey instrument reveals that there's no desire to look at revisiting the issue of assessments, then they won't be revisited. If it reveals otherwise, then the council will have the option of discussing um, what, what the will of the voters appears to be and what their concerns are at that time. So that's the process that the city is engaged in right now um, and will be working on over the next several months.